Hi, in the first part of this given problem, there is a solid sphere, a charged sphere. And the radius of this sphere is given as R is equal to 0 0.100 centimeter and distance of observation point from the center here this is the observation point suppose in first case let it be R1 so distance of observation point from the center of the charged sphere R1 is equal to 0 0.200 centimeter and electric field here at this observation point that is given as 480 Newton per coulomb. Now for any the center now the new observation point if it is shifted to a distance of r2 is equal to 0 0.600 centimeter again from the center then we have to find electric field at this new observation point now using expression for electric field at any point outside a charged sphere that is given as E is equal to K into Q by R square as we have we have discussed that all of this charge will be supposed to be concentrated at the center only. So using that we conclude that electric field depends inversely on the distance of inversely on the square of distance of observation point. Hence we conclude E1 by E2 will be equal to R2 by R1 to the whole square. So now if we put all these known values for E1 this is 480 Newton per coulomb. For E2 we have to find it. This is missing. Then for R2 that is 0 0.600 centimeter. For R1 that was 0 0.200 centimeter having a whole square of it cancelling this centimeter finally this is 3 square of 3 it will be 9 hence the value of E2 will be given by 480 divided by 9 so finally electric field at an observation point distant 0 0.600, 0 0.600 centimeter from the center of the sphere will come out to be 53.3 Newton per coulomb which becomes the answer for the first part of the problem. Now in the second part of the problem we are we will be studying a cylinder a solid cylinder here this is the cylinder and the radius of this cylinder also is given as r is equal to 0 0.100 centimeter first observation point r1 is 0 0.200 centimeter means again outside the cylinder and second observation point that is again 0 0.600 centimeter electric field at the first observation point is again 480 newton per coulomb and we have to find it at the second observation point so using the expression for electric field due to a line of charge a cylindrical charge distribution this electric field is given by the expression k into 2 lambda by r where k is a constant 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught so using that we conclude electric field depends inversely on the distance of the observation point from the axis of the cylinder. 
so it will be given as e1 by e2 is equal to r2 by r1 hence plugging in all known values here for e1 this is 480 newton per coulomb for e2 this is missing we have to find it r2 is 0 0.600 centimeter r1 is 0 0.200 centimeter cancelling all these things we get e3 so e2 will be equal to 480 by 3 or finally we can say here this electric field is 160 newton per coulomb at a distance of 0 0.600 centimeter from the axis of the cylinder finally in the third part of the same problem now we will be considering the cases of electric field due to a large uniform sheet of charge and we know electric field due to a large uniform sheet of charge does not depend upon the distance of observation point from the sheet means it almost remains uniform so we can say it will remain same same as 480 newton per coulomb at a distance r2 is equal to 1.20 centimeter as it was at a distance r1 is equal to 0 0.200 centimeter and finally this is the answer for the third and the last part of this problem thank you